Today has been an incredibly sad day. You know, they say that no father or no parent should watch his sons die. Well, today we had a death at the hospital. It was a mother. It was a great day in mother giving birth. She had been trying to give birth for two days straight. Finally, her owners brought her to the hospital. She was too weak already. Apparently, one of the babies was in a cross position and she couldn't get birth naturally. The hospital operated her, they did a C-section, but she was too weak. And after delivering her last baby, her 13th baby, she had 13 little puppies. She died waking up from anesthesia. To look at these 13 puppies, they're, you know, as puppies go, they're, they're barely two hours old, they're trying to find their mother, and the mother is not there. So they're all climbing on top of each other and our team is feeding them with bottle, baby bottle. There's so many of them, 13. It's gonna be so difficult to make them all live. They're beautiful. They're beautiful Great Danes. I'm, I'm not a breed kind of person, but I had a Great Dane myself who lived with me for so many years. Peke, those that know me personally, know her as well. She's been with me for years. I know how special these dogs are. 13 of them, 13 of them. They have no mother now. So the owners are gonna have to feed them all with baby bottom. I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it. They are a young couple, they wanted to experience the miracle of life. I have no idea if they were trying to sell the puppies or not. I really, I really don't know anything about this. But to look at these puppies today, struggling to be, to keep warm, have them on a, on a warm kind of room, all together, we have to, we have to, stimulate them to be and defecate. I think, I look at these puppies and I, I think of their future. The mother is so important for them because they, they, they need to get socialized. The mother teaches them things. It's really important to have mother and siblings for the first three months of their life. But now these guys are on their own. They, they, will, they will be probably be given away to whomever wants them. And they will be takers for them, for sure. Maybe, I, I don't know. Because they're gonna, they're gonna have to be fed every two hours. So I tell you, it's a tragedy. And it's so ironic that you're watching new life coming into the world. It's a beautiful moment, but Deep inside yourself, you're sad because their future is not guaranteed at all. Great Danes are, are incredible dogs, they're the largest of them all. But at the same time, they can be very fragile and they are very baby like in their behavior and attitude. They they are, they are, it's so sad, it's so sad. So, I really hope that the, their owners can deal with the situation, that they can 
find their homes or sell them to good families or I, I don't know what they are going to try to do. Just far too many of them are put in boxes and dropped in shelters uh, all over the world. So I have no reasons to be optimistic. My nature is optimistic. I want them to succeed. I want to hope that they are going to be okay. But they are not going to be okay. I, I, I do have the feeling that they are not going to be okay. Another bitter sad moment we had is Pippa's family has come. Pippa was rescued by a beautiful lady. Uh, you know the story, she was picked up from the fields. Anyway, the girl that rescued her uh, is so in love with her. And she's so torn because Pippa is, she has a degenerative condition. She's not suffering, she's not in pain, she's very alert. She's like, you know, open eyes and looking for things to chew and to play. But we know that uh, 99% chances are that she's going to go downhill from here. So family came to see her. She's okay. She has a slight pneumonia, but we're, we're treating that. It is it's not going to be a problem. So in three days, she'll go home. In a few days, she'll go home. But again, to see someone so devoted to her, to see, see how you know she knows there is no hope, or there is very little hope, and she's going to have to take care of her until the moment comes when she's really suffering, and then let her go it's really sad so days like today guys it's just every rescuer everyone working or volunteering into this uh, cause knows days like today on the positive hand on the positive hand I'm now going to deliver Pascal to his new house to his new home his family is waiting for him. Beautiful people, they live by the beach and uh, they have another doggy. Pascal is gonna have a great time. I am so happy, I am so happy that, uh, that uh, he finally is gonna have the chance to start well in life. Pascal has stayed with us for the last couple of days. He is wonderful, he's so playful. Is a handful and uh, we wish him the best of luck I'm gonna show you now I'm gonna show you now <laughs> uh, his introduction to his family I can't wait I can't wait to see to see him being happy for the first time in his life so what else I can say tough day very sad we keep on fighting. Tomorrow I'm gonna be driving. It's gonna be a road trip video. I know some of you love them. <laughs> I'm driving to the south of France from Valencia, a place called Carcassonne. It's about seven hours drive. I'm taking Bella home. Bella is this dog that we rescued as a puppy. She was mangy, completely, I mean, all her skin was gone and bleeding and crust and now she is just an incredible puppy so happy so full of life so I'm taking her to her new family it's gonna be a long drive I'm gonna be going with uh, with my brother he's taking a day off and uh, I'm with a friend of mine to keep me busy and to keep me entertained because the last thing I want is to fall asleep on the wheel I'm so tired that this is becoming a real possibility. So, anyway, going to going to take Pascal's home.
Let me go. 